Diomedes. Diomedes, in my humble opinion, is one of, if not the coolest Greek warrior of all time. He has done some insane things, from helping sneak into an enemy camp, to being one of the only people in Greek mythology to have ever harmed a god. Now these are the reasons why Diomedes is my favorite Greek warrior. One amazing scene of Diomedes was when he teamed up with Odysseus to spy on the Trojans. On their trip, they happened to run into somebody who was on their way to spy on them, Dolan. Diomedes helped interrogate Dolan and get as much information off of him as possible, telling him that they, they'd let him go if he just gave them the information they needed. That was all. As soon as they got all of the information they needed, Diomedes walked up to him and just slashed his neck right open and killed him. That was not it though. Before they stole their horses and made their escape, Diomedes went over and killed 13 more people while they were asleep. One of those people being the king of Thrace, Rhesus. There's actually another time Achilles had to go be searched for and convinced to go to war. Other than the time he, you know, ran away out of anger towards Agamemnon because Agamemnon stole some girl or whatever, blah blah blah, who cares, it's just the start of the Iliad. This time though, Achilles was pretending to be a girl and hiding in Skyros. During this search though, it was again the two-man team of Odysseus and Diomedes. For this scheme, however, they would dress up as peddlers and have a table full of feminine treasures along with one sword and one shield. Once all of the girls were looking at the treasure, Diomedes would sound a horn pretending that they were under attack. The one girl who would pick up the sword and the shield was the person that they were looking for, Achilles. Before anyone even thought of going to bring Achilles back to fight again, Diomedes was almost able to kill Hector, the later rival of the Greek hero Achilles. Diomedes, during the war, stayed in place during a retreat to challenge Hector to battle. Sadly, this battle did not get to happen because Zeus, of all people, scared the driver of Diomedes' chariot into retreating by using a thunderbolt right next to him. Even with that thunderbolt thrown, Diomedes still wanted to go back for blood, so as an act of revenge for not being able to fight Hector, he killed many of Hector's army while they slept that night. This caused Hector and his army to become scared and retreat back inside of the walls of Troy. Diomedes and Hector ended up running into each other for a second time. This time though, Diomedes was able to attack. Immediately, Diomedes threw his spear right at Hector. It hit his head perfectly, yet Hector was able to live. The only reason Diomedes was not able to kill Hector right then and there was the same reason he could not last time. An outside source was stopping him. Hector was wearing a helmet blessed by Apollo, which stopped the spear from doing any damage to Hector. This gave Paris time to shoot Diomedes in the foot with an arrow, and they were able to get away. Diomedes, though, was able to quickly de-lodge the arrow and retreat also, so no harm was done to him. His feud with Hector then came to an end, because after that, Achilles returned. In the middle of a battle against the Trojan hero Aeneas, Diomedes was able to throw a stone on top of him. This stone, being described as one that not even two men working together would be able to lift. That was not even the best part of this story though. Before Diomedes was able to finish off Aeneas, Aphrodite swooped in, grabbing Aeneas and started to fly away with him. Then, Diomedes, being the god he is, but not like an actual god, like god in the way of like he's very skilled and cool, uh, chased after Aphrodite and the crowd of warriors until he was close enough to tear off some of her skin using his spear. He then became one of the only mortals to have ever harmed a god. This, though, was not his last time. After Diomedes injured Aphrodite, she told Ares, which obviously made Ares mad, I mean, reasonably so, 
So next time Ares saw Diomedes in battle, he went straight for him. But, like usual, Diomedes makes his way out of it alive. He ends up throwing his spear, with the help of Athena, right into Ares, causing him to scream. With the sound as great as 9,000 men make, or 10,000, when the cry as they carry into fighting the fury of the war god. That's loud! So if that doesn't make it obvious, Diomedes won that battle. He bested a god. Twice. On the same day. Not only did he hurt Ares though, right after the battle, Ares flew straight home to Zeus and started whining that the violence is bad and that his daddy Zeus should stop it. Zeus immediately replied calling him a double-faced liar. So Ares just got bullied more, which I find hilarious. Ares gets bullied so much in Greek mythology. Not just with him getting hurt and made fun of Zeus here, but later in the Iliad, Athena just walks up to him and just chucks a rock right at him. And then later in Greek mythology, he gets injured again in a battle with Heracles. You'd really think the god of war would win some of these battles. <laughs> The only thing that can really stop this man is random outside sources intervening. Dude can take on the gods. Now, if you don't think Diomedes is the coolest Greek warrior, I really don't know what else I can say to convince you. Your opinion is just wrong.